Uh, there are many reasons. Um, I think one of the things that I often joke about when I speak to someone about the Faculty of Social Science is that um, we've always been known for producing leaders so that we have um, that reputation that we carry forward. But apart from that, we also have a lot of cross-disciplinary sort of programs. We have a, a wide variety of, uh, I would say, programs across various departments. Um, a student could actually go from one department and do a, co a course or a number of courses um, across different departments and still within one program. So that it allows for a, a greater level of spread, if you want to put it that way, across um, various uh, programs in the faculty and therefore making the student more marketable and also more holistic but really taking courses that also complement their particular program or degree or area of research. So I think it's important first to note that we have four departments in the faculty. We have the Department of Behavioral Sciences and even there we have different units. So we have sociology, we have social work, mediation, um, we have also criminology and um, psychology. Uh, and together that forms the Department of Behavioral Sciences. We also have Department of Management Studies, Political Science and also Department of Economics. So across those four departments you also have varied programs um, at the master, this master um, MSc level or the Master of Science and the MPhil which is the Master of Philosophy which is more of a research degree and also the doctoral program which is also research based. The Department of Management Studies offers a range of programs from postgraduate diplomas to the PhD or Doctor of Philosophy. So in terms of the postgraduate diplomas and the MSc degrees, we offer programs in Management Studies, Tourism Development and Management and Sports Management. We also offer an MSc in Aviation Management and of course a PhD in Business Administration. In the Management Studies section, we offer specializations. So students can choose to specialize in Finance, Marketing and Human Resource Management or they can do a General Management Studies option. The Department of Economics offer a postgraduate program from MSc, MPhil and a PhD research. Uh, the MSc in Economics is what they call a taught master's, which would require students to pursue a number of what you call courses uh, within a required period of time. Now their program, the program in the Department of Economics is offered over a full-time basis and also as a, a part-time basis. So over the full-time period, a student will require to to pursue our MSc in economics over a one year period or two years over what we call a part time period. The Department of Political Science um, offer what you call a, um, two basic um, MSc programs. There's the MSc in government and the second program, which was only introduced about three years ago, was the MSc in public sector management. And the latest addition, which would have come out in this academic year, 1819, would be the MSc Advanced Diploma in Public Sector Management. The Faculty of Social Sciences, the office itself, runs a, a specialized program that was introduced many years ago uh, called the MSc in Strategic Leadership and Management. If I just briefly give you the, the history behind that. It is a program that was um, brought to the faculty from the Defence Force in which they were seeking to um, introduce what they call MSc program for their officers. We had also introduced what we call an undergraduate degree program for also junior officers within the Defence Force. That is in leadership and management which is offered out of the Department of Management Studies. The faculty also continued to run the MSc in Strategic Leadership and Management after it was opened up to let's say civilians. 
And over the years, we have had a high number of what you call persons seeking entry into the MSc in strategic leadership and management. The program really requires that a student pursued over, let's say, a part-time basis. It runs for three semesters. Unlike a regular MSc, the first and second semester, we cater for three semesters. So the first semester will be from September to December, January to May, and then we have what you call a May to July um, session. So it is expected that a student can complete all the thought courses within that one year. Well, given how wide we, we, you know, we, we go in terms of the various programs and departments that we have, it could span anywhere from leadership positions, anywhere in the public and the private sector. I think we have a, a persons who are in ministerial positions. We have CEOs, for example, who come from strategic leadership and management programs. We have persons, who, economists, for example, like Kelvin Sargent, who works with the ILO, International Labour Organization. We have Sandra Sukram, who's also a graduate of our program, who is a deputy governor, Central Bank. Um, we also have someone like Julie Xavier, who works with UNDP and you know has affiliation with the OECS. So that a lot of our graduates find themselves across a wide spectrum of jobs and positions and make an essential contribution to not just research, but um, economic matters, matters relating to the economy, the society, the state, any one of the above, because our program prepares our student to cover that wide spectrum of areas. Because of the nature of management, you, uh, you, know, you have a broad spectrum that uh, our graduates can pursue. So we have uh, graduates who are in private sector, public sector, in academia as well. So it's a very broad spectrum that our students can find themselves in. Especially those who perhaps would have specialized in marketing, so you can work in um, service type operations, you can work in manufacturing type operations, so it's a very broad spectrum. Right? Wow. For the specific programs, for example, aviation management, again we find our students working in airline, airline operations, airport operations, they work in civil aviation, in the military, so we, again, broad. For the sports management students, the graduates, we find them in many of the national sporting organizations. We find them in the Ministry of Sports, Sports City, and those are those locally. We also have graduates who are regionally as well. So we find our students, our graduates, across the board. In the Department of Economics, the, um, the area is very broad for a student can pursue the MSc in economics, so they call in general courses, where there are six core courses. And that will provide them to if they pursue and to go into, let's say, postgraduate, further postgraduate research, where they specialize in particular areas. So you have you could, you could engage in what you call micro or macroeconomics, international economics. So a person has a world of opportunities available to them in the area of economics. And in the Department of Political Science, well, our program is, you can say, more designed for, let's say, the public sector. But it's not only public sector, international agencies, the knowledge gained from an MSc program in the Department of Political Science allow them to broaden their reach into called international organizations. And in, in some cases, private sector organization requires um, uh, researchers with a particular knowledge of what goes on in the state sector and how the state actually operates. That is also an important asset to anyone seeking to pursue uh, postgraduate research in the Department of Political Science. In the Department of Management Studies, we do have some dedicated resources. So we have dedicated classrooms for our, our postgraduates and our uh, master's students. We have dedicated rooms for our PhD students as well. Uh, we use blended learning. For instance, the sports, the diploma, postgraduate diploma in sports management, that is a blended program. So students, they meet up face to face for a portion of the time and then they do online learning for a portion of the time. So the vast majority of time it is blended learning. So one thing I can say for management studies in terms of our students, we are very student-centered. So there's quite a bit of flexibility in terms of how the programs have been designed. So for instance, most of our courses are offered in the evening. 
so from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m., which would allow students to continue working full time. We have that blended aspect, so you really can study in the comfort of your home or in your office based on your um, your work commitments. The facilities that are available to the students are really the Faculty of Social Science allows. We have the Faculty of Social Science Computer Lab that students can have access to, to to do all their research. And we have the library where the faculty would have provided a library requisite reading material both online and let's say hard copy that they can access. What is also available is that as a student registered in an MSc program, they have the opportunity to access um, postgraduate funding. So a student could actually decide to, to do a course, not on the St. Augustine, but maybe pursue a course at, at the Mona campus or the Keville campus, or even a campus outside of, let's say, the Caribbean. Somewhere in the United States, somewhere in Canada, they can pursue a course, which will be, will, the, the faculty will, de well, the faculty the department will see as the equivalent, and therefore they can get credit they get credit transfer for pursuing these courses outside. So there's, a, there's an opportunity outside there where students can not only pursue their courses here, but move outside of the Faculty of Social Sciences and pursue courses outside the region as a, as a whole. So one of the advantages of our programs is that we have designed it in such a way as student-focused, student-friendly, and quite flexible. We do have MOU's uh, Memorandum of Understanding with many universities, and outside of that formal aspect in terms of our partnerships, we have many faculty members who also have partnerships and they work with colleagues from various universities across the globe. Um, and with those international partnerships, it allows students perhaps sometimes to engage in collaborative research with their supervisors and with the faculty and to be part of not just a cross, um, a cross institutional partnership, but a global partnership as well. So that the collaboration is both formal and informal, but the collective is that our students have that ability and they have that prospect of being part of that collaborative um, initiative in the faculty as well.